Hello, everybody. I am Unit, and guess what I have? It's a slinky! Watch it, slink. Watch it. Glorious slinking. What? You expect some sort of log? But I'm playing with a slinky. Look at it. It's a slinky. All right. So, what to vlog about? I know. The history of the slinky. Now, back in the 1940s, there was a man named Richard James. And he was in the Navy. Well, Rather, he was an engineer for the Navy. Technically, he's in the Navy, but he really doesn't go, like, go into boats and float around because he was in Pennsylvania. And if you know anything about uh, the geography of the United States, Pennsylvania, not on the coast. At least I don't think it is. Um, so, yes. He was an engineer, and he worked with springs a lot, apparently. And one day he was in his little office or abode or whatever it is that he worked at. And he dropped a spring and it went boing, 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 boing down a set of books. And he thought, that's really cool. I wonder if I can get it to do it again. Hmm. It probably didn't stroke his chin like this, though. But dramatic effect. So he did. And he got to do a couple more times. And so he went home to his wife. He's like, look at this. It's a helical spring. And it goes zip, 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 downstairs. Because, of course, they didn't have the word slink back then. I mean, it was a word, but they didn't use it for slinky. So you can't say it slunk down the stairs. It zip, 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 zip. And so his wife was like, oh, this is marvelous. We should sell this as a toy for children. Um, but we have to name it. And so she just opened up the dictionary and went, boink. Oh, this word, slinky, elegant and graceful. Okay. And that's how the name was chosen. So... Yes, yeah, slinky means elegant and graceful. Ballerinas, swans, both very slinky. And now, it refers to a small metal spring that falls downstairs. Isn't that appropriate? Anyway, they went to Gembles and did a demonstration after making 400 of the slinkies. It took them 90 minutes for them to completely sell out of these 400 slinkies. From then, it's been a widespread success. In fact, it's been a widespread success not only as a toy, but as things it really was never meant to do. For example, when U.S. troops were in Vietnam, they apparently didn't have enough radio antennas. But they did have slinkies, and apparently slinkies make very good radio antennas. Why U.S. soldiers on the field had more slinkies than radio antennas, I'll never know. But, true fact. Also, John Cage famous for his living room suite, and I don't mean the kind you sit on, I mean an actual musical suite played on various pieces of living room furniture, developed a musical score for Slinky to be played on the Slinky. Regardless, this sort of multitasking has made the Slinky the famous and beloved toy it is today. But let's be honest, does it really need to do anything more than this? I didn't think so. Words of wisdom. I couldn't have said it better myself, Slinky. Adieu, fair audience. Adieu.